Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Aquarius, May 10, 2022. Mars has been in your sign since March 6, and this has brought more energy and drive to your life, but also some impatience and pressure. Mars leaves your sign today, and life settles down a little. With Mars in your resources sector from now until May 24, you might want to bring abundance into your life. You may feel more motivated to make money, for example, but you are also capable of impulsive purchases during this period. The best use of this transit is to focus on building your resources. Taking action to make your life more secure can figure strongly now. Today brings reliable energy for decision-making, although with Mars changing signs, it may be best to wait until tomorrow or the next to follow through. Today you may find it rather difficult to broach a certain subject with someone very close to you. The celestial energy indicates that there seems to be a barrier on both sides that does not make this easy. However, much effort you have to expend, it will be worth it. It is always worth trying to reach out and make amends. Don't leave it too long. What action should you take to move forward with your financial ventures? Now that Mars is in Pisces, you may feel driven to make more money and to secure what you find valuable. The Martian drive is intuitive and emotional, pulling your attention to opportunities that strike your fancy. Throughout this transit, you may find that your assets could be impacted by your vision. Consider what you want to accomplish and imagine every step of the way towards fulfilling that financial goal. With hope and imagination, you are sure to cash in. It is just a few hours after the moon leaves your financial sector today that Mars not only returns to your income sector but will very quickly shift the focus back onto the income side of the financial fence. With no planetary activity in your financial sector, the moon has just managed to squeeze in a visit that has given you a better read on money matters. As the moon leaves, Mars not only pulls your attention back onto the income side of the financial fence but to begin a fight for what you deserve. Relations with your circle of friends will strengthen. Opposing points of view can be easily reconciled and you are able to create an open, tolerant atmosphere. The mutual trust you share will increase and other people feel at ease with you. Perhaps someone will reveal intimate details to you that make your ties to him or her even more intensive. You feel fantastic, and ready to chat up a line of cuties 10 miles long. If you bring your people along for the ride and make them feel supported, they'll feel a lot better about your gregariousness. Strengthen existing relationships by proposing new venues and occasions to meet. If there is someone you want to give a more important role in your life, let them know or give them a sign. If the object of your desire doesn't react to your gentle attempts do not change your strategy, be patient, bide your time. You may be feeling pretty worked up right now. The planetary movement concerning your sign this month is a hefty combination of intense energies. This makes you high-strung and on the alert at all times. Water is literally the best solution, drink plenty of water, a minimum of 8 glasses per day. Your liver will thank you for it and you will be more emotionally balanced. Don't let yourself burn out. Try not to get frustrated if you find yourself continuously sidetracked today. With the social energy of a vibration, this can happen quite easily. Try to see interruptions from others as opportunities. You can get to know your coworkers better, learn from their experiences, exchange ideas, and form project teams under this essence, as well. You never know what you could learn, see, or discover by interacting with others. No time is wasted time. Keep your mind and door open. The moon's return to your financial sector today will not only sharpen your nose for money but will help to energize planets on the other side of the financial fence and with perfect timing. Jupiter's departure tomorrow will see the planet of luck and expansion leave your income sector before the moon can move into opposition but it will clash with the three planets saying on including Mars, the warrior planet of the cosmos. While the moon is just passing through your financial sector, a bit of pressure on the planets on the income side of the financial fence can fire up your warrior spirit with perfect timing. 
On both the romantic and relationship fronts the communication gods are having an impact. As Mercury, the planet of communication turns retrograde in your romantic sector, his focus on giving your heart a voice and putting heart and mind on the same page now shifts to the past and second chances. This comes just as the moon is spending its final hours in your relationship sector at a friendly aspect to planets in your communication sector. Our eyes in the sky. Today's waxing Leo moon doesn't make any major connections to planets. The only energy that we will be feeling is the opposition between the moon and centaur Chiron in Aries. This opposition allows us to take the initiative to promote healing in our lives. It's a great time to reach out to someone and try to make amends. Understanding our role in the demise of a relationship can help us restore its foundation. This is a time of making up rather than tearing apart. Full moon will be extremely potent and intense, which is why today's chill vibe can help us prepare for that fraught energy. If a situation needs work, something you put on the back burner because you didn't want to deal with it, use today's Leo moon to find balance and peace as you resolve matters without arguing. If you wait until tomorrow, things might not go as expected. On the emotional front, this astrological energy will bring new life to our romantic situations and partnerships. The caveat is that Mars, who is a Leo, shares a minor connection with Neptune, who is retrograde in Pisces. That will make it hard for us to make decisions. Instead of moving forward, it's a good time to reflect on the investments before we commit fully to making them. The lesson of the day is to slow down and to contemplate as to what the best choices for us will be. Seeking advice will be beneficial, as long as it's a trusted source who we know won't lead us astray from the best opportunities and results. In the morning, the Leo moon trines to Mercury in Gemini and Virgo, making it easy to connect to others through speech and writing. This is an excellent time to present research, as we will refuse to downplay our knowledge to make things pleasant for others. Yet, we also understand how to draw in our audience by relating to their specific sensibilities. Others find us intelligent, witty, and pleasant to be around. It's an ideal occasion to communicate with family members, specifically siblings or children. In the afternoon, the moon opposes Venus in Sagittarius, causing hiccups in our relationships. Our need for variety can place us in situations where romantic engagements take a back seat. Ordinarily, asking for space won't be a problem here. It is more likely that issues will arise if we make our needs known improperly or fail to consider someone else's needs. The reverse may also be true, we feel neglected in some capacity by another, which makes us go looking for love in all the wrong places.